Yeah, man. It, what a weird last year. I also had a very public nervous breakdown, which, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. Moved to Los Angeles and had a very, very public meltdown. Super awesome. Nothing, nothing in the world like spending your 38th year on this planet just perilously clinging to the last whisper thin tendril of sanity that your brain is capable of stringing between the two piss-soaked shivering shih tzus that are your courage and self-worth receptors. <laughs> Well, the rest of the world laughs and cries as it pushes a metaphorical mesquite barbecue by your window every day, just enjoying the clickety-clack of its tiny little wheels in a seemingly perfect rhythm with a stopwatch counting down an ever-dwindling time continuum of your own creative marketability. <laughs> so I'm medicated now. I'm on a lot of medication. Heavily medicated now. I love it. Man, I love depression and anxiety. Good stuff. Dude, it's awesome. Depression and anxiety is bold enough to stand up and proudly declare, yes, I can't. You know what I liked about being depressed and like, and, and you, nobody ever thinks about it, but anxiety and depression is a maverick. It finds different ways to solve problems. Cause you're like, oh, I'm having a problem, you know what I mean? And I'll just go the most linear route. But depression and anxiety says, I got new ideas for you, bud. You know what I mean? Like, oh, having trouble connecting with your wife, you know, because, uh, because you're barely a man, you can't leave your house at all or anything like that. And, and you're miserable all the time. Well, have you tried taking all three of your meals from the fetal position on the couch? <laughs> What's that? Having trouble connecting with your son because you can't go outside and do all those dad things that are necessary to create a lifelong bond with a child? Have you tried crying in front of him yet? 